Hello students, welcome to a short video to show you how to register on Notesmaster, join a class and access the notes. Okay, so Google, Yahoo or Bing, any search engine is fine. You can type in Notesmaster and it'll come at the top, Notesmaster. Okay, this is what you're looking for, Notesmaster. Or you could type it in the web address up here. Just Notes Master and you should be fine. So in Google, Notes Master, click on it and you arrive at the page here. If you have already logged, signed up, you can log in by clicking here. Otherwise, get started. As a student, you want to get started here. And then you're asked to enter your name. Okay, so first name, Michael. Second name, Phillips. So add your first name and your surname. Click off, you see two green ticks means it's correct. You filled it out fine. Then click next. Don't worry about class code as yet or login or browse. Just click next. Then delete that. Enter an email address. So if you have an email address, put in your email address. If you um, don't have an email address, maybe your parents or your siblings an email address or guardians, or you can create one at Hotmail or Gmail, or use this, I don't have an email address. This will take you through where the system will generate a login for you, make a note of that login, and you will then put a password. So in this case, I'm putting an email address, my email address, and then my password. So same way, if you have an email address, or if you are using the don't have an email address, you need a password. And the password contains a number or word of six or more letters with a capital, a special character and numbers. Click on the I so we can see what we type, so it's not so secretive, just to be sure. And I'm going to put my password as Michael. I need to have at least six letters with a capital, so I've got that, capital M, my letters here, a special character, so hold down shift a special character could be at, or the dollar sign, or the percentage, or the and, or the dot there. They're all special characters. I'm going to do exclamation mark as a special character, and then a number. And I'll go for one. We know it's okay because I've got a green tick now. If I close this, it's a triangle. Go for a one, it's a green tick. Okay, so once I have two ticks, I click next, and then you want to select your school. So type in the first few letters of your school and it should appear in the list. If it doesn't appear or you don't see it, you can type other and just click on the top other. And once you have a school here, click next and that'll finish the process. Click next and here you are in the classes area. So you come straight in here and what you want to do is join a class. So the class code that your teacher or principal or parent or guardian has given you, click here, join class. You see a join class pop up. Enter the class code, paste it in. All class codes will be capital letters and numbers. So there won't be any lower cases. So if you're writing down letters, they're always capital. You see our green tick here again. And then when I click add, I will automatically, in this case, be added to the Ministry of Education's Physical Education class. Add. Here I am. I'm in the Ministry of Education, Trinidad and Tobago, OER, Physical Education and Sport class. Okay? OER is Open Education Resource. Basically, it means free notes. Okay. Post is your post area. So if you have a challenge, you can type a question or if you're lost or need some help. Notes is where you want to go. Click Notes, Forms 1, 2 and 3. All classes have the syllabuses in them, okay? The syllabus is this framework, the curriculum guide, which shows you all of the topics, the forms, the topics and the specific objectives. Under each specific objective, you see a one, there are notes, okay? So click on a note and it should open up for you and you can see the note displayed here. Have a look, browse, and enjoy the content. 
Okay, when you're finished, you close off the note and be sure to log out when you are finished. Click here, log out, and when you come back to the platform, if you want to log in again, just click log in and enter the email address you used before and the password and you'll go straight back into your class, okay? You do not need to enter your class code again. It's already there. Make sure you put your email address correctly. Make sure you've remembered it and make sure you've remembered your password, all of those things. If you forget, you have reset details here. Okay, right. That was a quick introduction. When you log in again, don't forget, you will be in your classes. If you forget, click reset details, but write them down once you have started with them. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you forget or miss anything, just rewind this video and watch those bits again that you might have missed. Okay, thank you.